Let's do number seven. A study was done on the handedness and the height of people. The number of each is shown here, so we have this table. Let's go ahead and answer part A. So a person is chosen. What is the probability that the person is average height? So let's do it. So P is the probability, and we want the person to be of average height. So average. So this is equal to a fraction. And the probability of getting a person of average height is the number of ways to get a person of average height. That's going to be, you just go to average, and notice it's added for you. So 35. There are 35 people of average height, so there's 35 ways to pick someone of average height. Divided by the total number of people, which is 134, it's done for us. So that would be the answer there, 134. And I suppose we could get a decimal. Let me put this in my calculator. 35 divided by 134. I guess I'll do three decimal places. This would be approximately 0.261. So again, it's the number of ways to pick an average person, which is 35, divided by the number of ways to pick a person, which is 134. And that gives you the probability that someone is average height. B, a person is chosen. What is the probability that the person is tall and right-handed? Okay, so P of tall and right-handed, so both. Now, we're only picking one person, so I know when you see the word and, you might think, oh, it's the multiplication rule, but it's one person, right? Uh, when it goes to two people, two or more, that's when you multiply. So here, on the bottom, we have the total, so it's still 134. And tall and right, so let's see, tall and right. So if you go to right, it meets up with tall at the number 26. So 26 ways to pick someone that is tall and right-handed, 134 ways to pick someone. Divide those, and you get the probability which is approximately 0.194. Again, it's where they meet. You see where right meets tall on the chart, so 26. All right, whoops, I, I wrote on the uh, document there. There we go. <laughs> Part C, a person is chosen. What is the probability the person is not ambidextrous? So P, not ambi. So not ambi. So we have 24 people that are ambidextrous. If you go to ambidextrous, that's how many are ambidextrous. We have 134 total. So one way to do this is think, okay, how many are not ambidextrous? Well, 134 minus 24 is 110. So there's 110 people that aren't ambidextrous divided by 134 total. Again, you have 24 that are ambi, 134 total. If you do 134 minus 24, you get 110. This is the number of people that aren't ambidextrous. So that goes up top, the bottom gets the total, and then we have 110 divided by 134. This would be 0 0.821, 0 0.821. Part D, Let's see what this says. Person is chosen, ooh, what is the probability the person is right-handed given they are short? Okay, this is harder. So it's P, right-handed, so I'm gonna put right, and then when you see the word given, you write the line, okay? And then short. Okay, so right-handed given that they are short. So you're only focusing on short people. So you go to short, and because you're only focusing on short people, right, that's, that's after the given, this gives you the number on the bottom. So this is 58, always. Whenever you have a given, instead of using like the whole 134, you're gonna use what's after this line. You're gonna use the short. So from the short people, how many are right-handed? Only 20. So 20 over 58, this will be 0.345. If, again, if we round to three decimal places, 0.345. Part E is a long, so a hardcore question. A person is chosen. What is the probability the person is tall or left-handed? Okay, so P of tall or left. So here we have an or, so on the bottom we just have the regular total, so 134. And so what I do for stuff like this is, and I'll actually be able to circle because I can write on this, which is nice. Uh, you circle the tall people, okay? And then you circle the left people, okay? Trying to circle them carefully, oh, this is fun. <laughs> and then you add up these numbers. So I'm gonna add up in my calculator, 26 plus 21 plus five plus 20. This always works, okay? So if you have an or, you just circle and add. This will be 26 plus 21 
plus 5, plus 26, plus 10. Notice the 5 is circled twice. Don't add it twice, okay? So just 26 plus 21 plus 5 plus 26 plus 10. So I got 88. Okay, 88 over 134. So 88 over 134. This is going to be 0.657. Um, so this is approximately 0.657. That would be the answer there. Pretty tough. Uh, F. Let's see what F is. F. Two people are chosen with replacement. Okay, so that means you take a person, you look at them, then you put them back, and then you take another person. What is the probability that they are both ambidextrous? So we want two people to be ambidextrous. So both ambi. So if they're both ambi, that means the first is ambi. And the second is ambi, right? Because they're both ambidextrous. The first is ambi and the second. So now this is where we use the multiplication rule. So how many ambidextrous people do we have? So 24. This will be 24 ways to pick an ambidextrous person over 134 ways to pick a person. So this is the probability that the first person is ambidextrous. Again, it's the number of ways to pick someone that is ambidextrous divided by the number of ways to pick a person. And that's the probability that the first person is ambidextrous. And we want the second person to be ambidextrous. But this is with replacement. So you still have 24 people who are ambidextrous and you still have 134 people, boom. If it was without replacement, he just changed this number to a 23 and then changed this to a 133. So this is going to be, let me put it in my calculator. It's nice to have a calculator. This would be really tough to do by hand. 0 0.032, 0 0.032. I would, it's the probability that both of them are ambidextrous. And then part G, two people are chosen without replacement. What is the probability they're both? Okay, so it's the same thing, except, you know, that's the first one being ambidextrous. And the second one's ambi, but you've taken a person away, you see? It's, it's without replacement. So now you're left with 23 people and 133 people, right? So the number goes down because it's without replacement. So this would be, let's see. It's a nice problem because it involves like a lot of concepts. So 0 0.031, wow, barely a difference, right, if you go to three decimals. Honestly, if you go to two decimals, there isn't a difference, right? It's just 0 0.03. It's, I'm glad I picked three decimals, <laughs> otherwise the answers would, you wouldn't be able to differentiate. <laughs> so that's it. We finished. So um, kind of a hardcore question. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful. I mean, this, this has a lot of concepts in it. Good luck.